So I opened up um, Fusion 360. Um, started off with a sketch for the the walls and the uh, and the area that the birds would would sit on. So that's the that's the sort of total area of the bird feeder. That's the outside of the outside wall, and then I used an offset to uh, to make the thickness of that outside wall. Because what I wanted was two walls that were quite close together that a soda bottle would fit between. So then I used the offset tool again. Did two more offsets. Um, with smaller dimensions, that makes the inner wall, if you will. So they, there's the uh, there's the outside sort of bit where the bird will sit. So I've just extruded that a couple of mil. I'll now extrude up the inside of the of the bird feeder. There's probably a better way of doing this, but this is how I did it anyway. Uh, then extruded up the the two walls with the gap in the middle um, where the where the soda bottle will, will fit into. Then uh, yeah, had to had to extrude the centre part of the little gap. Just so it was the thickness of the, the sort of floor of the thing, if you, if you like. So that's the sort of basic structure where the, the sort of seed will go. Um, what I now need to do is, is, uh, is make an offset plane so that the so that the centre is conical in shape so the seeds actually flow to the outside uh, a lot easier so i used an offset plane then made a sketch of a small circle on that plane and once i've done that um, I can use the loft tool to uh, to join the the inside um, floor, if you like, to that offset small circle, and that makes, as I say, a conical shape for the seed to to flow out of, and so it, so it sort of flows to the outside of the, of the feeder itself. So that's well that's the basic structure for the for the sort of the main part of it. If we just do a quick quick cross section and you can see sort of how it'll work where you've got the um, the, the inner wall, the outer wall and the conical shape. I think I need a fillet here just to make it transition towards towards the uh, the wall there a little a little better. Okay, so I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Okay, so now I need another offset plane so that I can draw the openings on the on the wall itself extrude some openings to, to let the seeds actually out so the offset plane um, I'll pr project the the structure that I've already I've already drawn out 
now I can refer to that um, when I draw these uh, these openings. So I'll start off with a with a rectangle. Then um, those dimensions look fine for, for what I'm doing. You obviously put whatever dimensions you want on, uh, on yours if you choose to do this. Then uh, just so it's central, I'll draw a construction line joining the middle of the box I've drawn and the projected structure and then uh, make it vertical. And now draw an arc. Uh, oh, it's oh, it's construction line as well. So we need to we need to change that from construction to a normal. There we go to a normal line. Um, now I hit the T button to trim off the bits I don't want. Oh, I've managed to do, <laughs> to remove half of the arc. So I'll undo that and then trim off those two bits in the middle. So there's the there's the opening uh, sort of sketch that I want. So now I'll just extrude that through, and I want it to go so it just about reaches the inner part of the inner wall. Again, I'm sure there's a better way of doing this, and perhaps someone will let me know what they would do. But this is how I've done it. Um, so just extrude it till it comes to that point there. And there we've got the opening that the seed will actually come out of. Uh, so now I need a circular pattern and I'm going to use the uh, feature that, um, that I've got on the timeline there. Uh, although that came up with faces, but so there's the three openings now. Uh, so it's starting to take shape. So what I need um, to do now is I need to uh, to angle this this bit up that um, that the birds will sit on, if you like, or perch on so that the seeds will sort of like you know not just tip out and go on the floor then they'll sort of be held in a little bit and it i think it gives the birds a little a little more to purchase onto so i'll use just a, um, a sketch and then a, a revolve around the midpoint and that will give uh, the sort of shape I want really. so that's done that the next issue I have really is that if it rains and the and water gets in there we need some drainage to allow to allow the water out so what I'll do is I'll do another sketch. Let me just hide the body here and select. Select that plane there. There we go. Um, yeah, so I'll just sketch some holes around the edge using, uh, again, using the pattern, the pattern tool. Um, how many I'm going to need if you just sort of look at this and judge it. Some of the ones by the openings I think I'll deselect. Because um, I don't want the seeds just to go straight through those holes. So let me get the right amount for what I want. I think that's, that's about right. And then deselect those that we don't want. Probably a better way to do this, but this is what I'm doing anyway. 
So get rid of those three. Um, get rid of those three as well. And get rid of those three. So now we've got the points that we want to actually keep. Uh, yeah, that seems fine to me. We'll just increase it by one and then that just... Let's have a look. Oh no, we need to reselect that one and that one and deselect that one and that one. Uh, and that one's okay. Okay, so that's fine. Now, it doesn't look like I've selected, I've got the hole, because it's just the center point. So, I need to, there we go. Now I've selected the holes, and not just the center points. So we finished that sketch, and that looks fine. Um, so now I want to extrude those through the bottom there so I could individually select them one at a time or if I get rid of all the sketches in the body I can uh, select all of them at once of course that deselects the ones that I'd selected in the first place so I need to reselect them now bring the body back in and I can do a, an extrude cut to make those holes I think apart from making a hole through the middle so that I can hang it up um, that's it done for the main body all I now need to do is the is the roof so let's have a quick use the analyze tool just to see exactly what we've got so there's the sort of perch bit there's the section for the bottle to go into and a hole in the middle to hang it so for the roof I'll, uh, I'll do another offset plane and this can be quite simple so another offset plane so uh, sketch a circle that will be the outer dimensions of the of the roof it's fine to me then another offset plane um, from there say 10 mil that's fine then another circle on that offset plane so small circle of course there's going to be a hole through the middle for it for the for the, uh, the cord to go through so that's fine and we'll use the loft tool again so from there to there, and there we've got our roof shape effect. Um, although there's no, it, it comes to a really fine point at the edge. So um, finish that sketch. Yeah, so I need to extrude it down a couple of mil just to give it some meat. I need to find me, find me hole again. So let's just highlight my sketches so I can see what's what. Extrude up, and there we've got 
the hole through the roof as well. So let's turn those sketches off and um, yeah, I think that'll work perfectly for what I want. Obviously for yourself, you're going to need to measure the uh, measure the soda bottle you're using so the dimensions will, will be different. I used a 2 litre UK uh, lemonade bottle for the actual container that holds the seeds and that will become apparent. And you just cut out corresponding holes at the at the the opening of the bottle to allow the seed out through the opening of the bird feed. So, there you have it. Um, so now there's a couple of a couple of little clips of the feeder in actual operation. There you can see the plastic bottle and the holes cut out in the plastic bottle just to uh, allow the seeds out. And as you can see, the birds are eating it. I suppose you could, I don't know, you could spray paint it or make a different colour, whatever. But um, this is my bird feeder for seeds that are really quite small. Um, and it seems to work and the birds seem to like it. Anyway, there's another coronavirus lockdown video uh, and project. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, then please give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you would, if you if you'd like to, um, and any comments I'm I'm pleased to receive. So. Everyone out there, stay safe and uh, keep your distance. Bye.